killing it. He's the guy to be back then. I think dude was probably 20 years old, and he was the man. I was rooting for dude when he left New Edition. I'm like, yo, this is my guy. I'm going to follow Cat. That album went on for like about damn near two summers. Then he dropped the Ghostbusters song that wasn't on there, and this dude killing it. He was everywhere. He was on Arsenio damn near every week. <laughs> he was dancing on Arsenio. You saw what good a performer he was. He was the alternative to Michael Jackson at the time. It was like, yo, okay, Mike is like 30. So, like, he, yo, we need another young guy who does this. And he comes out, and he's a little rougher than Mike. But he had the hits. He had the performance gene. This album came along at the right time. Michael Jackson is the greatest ever. But Bobby deserves some of that credit for influencing guys like Usher, Chris Brown, Neo, Trey Songs, and even R. Kelly. That's right. I said R. Kelly. Don't Be Cruel is one of the greatest. they probably the greatest R&B album. It's one of the greatest albums ever. He still ride on that album, too. That's it's 30 years. It'll be 30 years in June for this album. And he still gets money from this one album. Like, the, the, the follow-up to that was cool, but it wasn't this. So thank you for this, Bob. Shout out to B. Brown, man. I'm a big fan, bro. Next second.